Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today I want to do a little bit of a talking video really. It's not going to be a repair video like it usually is. I was quietly working away here. I'm working on a couple of things. I'm working on a laptop which is just there and then I'm also trying to get my orders out. And you know one of those things where you're just, you know, working away quietly and things just run around in your head and stuff like that. You know, it's completely silent in here and, you know, you, your mind runs away from you. So it got me to thinking, um, well, I've been thinking about it for quite some time recently, and that's where I'm going wrong in what I do, right? That might seem a little bit strange because on the surface, everything always seems fine and stuff, and I'm not trying to, you know, beg for attention or anything like that. That's not what this video is about. It's about talking about myself being self-aware sort of thing. One of the things I've been trying to work on lately is self-awareness and just trying to kind of figure out, you know, the best way to go about things and things like that. And part of that thinking has got me to realising that there are several areas where I'm going wrong. So, as you may or may not know, I run an electronics repair business as well as a quite successful YouTube channel and a successful parts store as well. So basically I do quite a lot of things. I do electronics repairs, I do videos on those electronics repairs, and I also sell parts to the things that I'm repairing as well. So it all kind of ties into one, but one of the big problems with that is being able to manage time. So in a typical day, what I do is I'll get up, I'll have my usual six cups of coffee, <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, so I'll have a few cups of coffee, I'll wake up, you know, get ready for the day and stuff like that. Um, I don't normally eat breakfast, so I don't eat. I'm a one, one meal a day person. So I'll get up, I'll have a few cups of coffee, and then I'll just get straight to work. I'll work from home and stuff like that, right? So what I tend to do is I'll come into the office and I will start working on something that I've either left on the bench overnight or, you know, if I've got some quick jobs I need to do, like a HDMI port or something like that, and I'll jump on Discord and I'll sit there procrastinating, you know, talking to friends and stuff like that while I'm working away. And that wastes a lot of time. So that's something I need to slow down. I need to, well, I need to kind of eliminate it and only, you know, do that in downtime and stuff like that, right? So... That's one problem that I've got is, you know, I tend to procrastinate a lot and, I, you know, I want to talk to friends and, you know, because, I mean, let's be honest, being a repair technician, especially working from home and especially if you're a sole business owner, it's a lonely job, right? I'm not, I'm not saying that for attention or anything like that. I'm not saying I'm lonely. I've got lots of friends. Everyone likes me. I'm really popular. All of that good stuff. <laughs> um, but it is a lonely job, let's face it. And you want to talk to friends. You know, you want to jump on the phone or you want to do stuff like that, right? So I do that a lot. I talk to friends on Discord. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we do have a Discord, free to use, all of that good stuff. So I'll go on voice chat and I'll talk to them, right? Another thing that I do is I tend to kind of lose track a lot and I don't tend to manage time good at all. You know, I don't tend to manage time well at all. One of the big problems that I have personally, and I don't know, let me know if it's the same for you. One of the big problems I have personally is remembering to check my emails. Emails is a big part of this business. I get a lot of emails from people asking for quotes. I do get some from people just wanting to waste my time and, you know, ask, email me directly asking for advice. Please don't do that. I've got enough on my plate. Um, don't just email me, email, me, email me asking how to fix your thing, right? Because... That's what Discord is for. Plain and simple, that's what Discord is for. But a big problem I have is remembering to check emails. And I'll remember to check them, you know, later on in the afternoon while I'm doing something like this. I'm like, oh, shoot, I haven't checked my emails. Okay, I'll do them in a minute. And then I'll carry on doing this. I'll carry on doing orders. And then, unfortunately, I'll forget again. And then I'll remember later on at night. But by that time, because I'm only a one, per one meal a day person, I'm tired and I forget again. And it goes on and on and on. And you end up in this cycle where you've got hundreds of emails backed up and you just don't want to look at them anymore because you just know that there's going to be people complaining or you're going to have emails that you haven't responded to which should have been responded to. And then you've got to try and, you know, explain to the customer why you haven't replied to them and stuff like that. And you just end up not wanting to check emails. It's horrible. So, like I said, one of the things that I've trying well that I'm trying to do and that I've been trying to do over the past couple of weeks especially is be more self-aware of my failures and try and change them 
one step at a time. And like I said, communication is a big failure for me. It's absolutely shocking. And I'm going to be the first to admit it. I am absolutely terrible at it. So I've been thinking to myself, how can I solve that? And my sister, my older sister, has just taken on my other sister's baby. Um, not I won't get into that too much, but my sister can't look after her baby. I don't talk to that sister. I don't have anything to do with that. But she can't look after her baby because she's got, uh, you know, severe medical issues let's just put it that way severe medical issues life support all of that stuff right so my other sister has taken on her newborn baby and now because of that she's out of work so what i've thought i'm going to do is i'm going to try and catch up on my emails over the next few days and i'm going to try and email as many people back as i can within reason obviously you know if it's more than a week old i'm not going to bother uh, I know it sounds bad, but unless it's really important, obviously. But if it's a quote from over a week ago, I don't think it's going to be worth emailing back. Or maybe two weeks, I don't know. But I'm going to spend a full day tomorrow. I don't normally work on a weekend, but I'm going to spend a full day tomorrow. And all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do, all day, is respond to emails. I'm going to go through every single email, anything that needs responding to. I'm going to get that done. And then starting Monday morning, Monday morning, my sister's out of work, so I'm going to start paying her a hourly wage just to check just to check my emails and respond to emails for me through the day, or, or not through the day, like once or twice a day. So it's going to be like a couple of hours a day, just to give number one her a little bit of money in her pocket, right? So I'm going to take her on as um, as as an, as an actual. Um, staff member um <laughs> yeah i'm a sole trader i don't know what the terminology is sorry um yeah i'm, I'm going to take her on as staff to respond to emails and i'm going to pay her an hourly wage it's going to be a fair hourly wage you can you know it's all going to be you know all fair and stuff i'm not going to say to her i'll give you a five for an hour because that's not fair obviously so i'm going to pay her an hourly wage and then she can just do that in her downtime when she's not looking after the baby right and, you know, I don't mind when she does it as long as it gets done every single day and as long as there's no emails at the end of the day. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. And I'm also going to be, uh, you know, trying to manage my own time a little bit better. And part of that time is obviously not procrastinating as much. I'm going to try and set up a full schedule where I do certain things at certain times. And also I need to start looking after myself better. And the reason I need to start looking after myself better is because, number one, I'm losing weight. So over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed I've lost about half a stone, something like that. That's not normal for me. I've got a really strong metabolism and I have, well, I just don't gain any weight. I don't lose any weight. So I need to start looking after my health better because if I'm healthy, that means I'll be able to get more done. I'll be more focused. I'll be more, you know. I'll be able to work better, I'll be able to work to a better standard, I'll be able to work longer hours, I'll be able to get more done, and I'll be able to keep on top of things. So part of that is going to be obviously eating right, because I'm at the minute only eating one meal a day, and it's like two o'clock in the morning, which is just not good for me at all. So basically my day, I went off on a little bit of a tangent, but basically I'll get, I'll get up in the morning, I'll do, you know, I'll have my coffees, and then I'll, I'll start working on whatever I've left the night before, or I'll start, you know, clearing up a few easy jobs or something like that. And then I'll move on to orders and I'll get my orders done, forgetting to check emails. That's why I went off on a tangent. Uh, forgetting to check emails. And then I'll go off on to, uh, you know, getting a couple of other repairs done um, or whatever needs doing, apart from emails. Um, and then I'm done for the day and then I'll just forget to do the emails and stuff. Um, by that time, I'm tired because I'm not eating. So I'm having basically a nap in the day and then when I wake up, I don't want to do anything because, well, it's late at night and stuff and I just want to, you know, chill sort of thing and be lazy. So, yeah, that's what my day looks like at the minute, unfortunately. Uh, so I need to start eating right. I need to start eating breakfast. I need to start eating lunch. I need to start eating my tea, supper, whatever, dinner, whatever you want to call it at a reasonable time. But I've also just bought some weight gain powder as well because I need to start putting weight on. And then I'm going to start dedicating a couple of days a, a couple of days a week once I've gained some weight to go into the gym and getting fit and healthy. Because I am unhealthy. I am obviously, you know, people have noticed it in videos and stuff like that that I look unhealthy and stuff like that. People think I'm on drugs. Never touch drugs, guys. Never. 
I've never done drugs, okay? But people think I'm on drugs because I look, I look unhealthy, okay? And that needs to change. Not for what everybody else thinks. I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's for my own benefit. Because not only am I losing weight, but I'm also getting several infections, and that's causing me to have to take time off and stuff like that. You know, the past couple of weeks alone, I've had several infections in my face and stuff like that. So I need to start, obviously, looking after my health a bit better. Uh, I do suffer with headaches basically 24 hours a day I've been in you know I've gone into depth on that before about how I had a car crash in 2016 uh, either 2016 or 2017 70 mile an hour I got hit from behind I was broken down I ended up with three crushed discs in my neck and I have to take painkillers because of that and that don't help as well especially if I'm not eating along with those painkillers and stuff because they're not able to process through my body and stuff like that so they get the headaches just get progressively worse and then some days I just need to lock myself in a dark dark room for, you know, basically a full day because I can't do anything. So, obviously, if I'm healthier, that should get a little bit better and stuff, stuff like that. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk really about, you know, self-awareness. It's important to be self-aware of your failures and just try and solve them. You're never going to solve them. No one's perfect at the end of the day. You're never going to solve them all. You know, we're all going to make mistakes. We're all, we're all human at the end of the day. And, you know, we, you know we're not going to be able to be... A perfect version of ourselves, you know, we're not we're not going to be able to be that picture perfect person that we see ourselves as, and I think it's important to realise that and not try and go for perfection. It's just about trying to improve yourself a little bit at a time and try and do better than what you've been doing, sort of thing. So I think for me going forward, it's going to be you know taking on my sister to try and help with emails. There is a reason that I can't employ my partner Sarah. And that's purely because I, well, she is dyslexic, she can't spell, and I'm a little bit, you know, is it is pedantic the right word? I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. Why does pedantic come to mind? I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little bit anal <laughs> on how I like things done, and I like things to be spelt properly with the proper punctuation, proper grammar, uh, all of that good stuff. You know, it, it has to be worded professionally and stuff like that. And my sister can do that, whereas Sarah can't. That's no offence to Sarah, it's just she can't do it. And, you know, that that's obviously another part where what I recognise. Sarah's not fit for that job. So Sarah helps me with some of the packing and stuff like that. She does what she can at the end of the day, but she also looks after the kids, so there is that as well. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking on my sister to help, with, help me with emails. I'm going to try and get my time management sorted out, and I'm also going to try and get myself healthy, because... Right now, I'm not, and that needs to change. So, yeah, I just thought to do a little bit of a talking video today because, well, I think it's interesting, and uh, it will be interesting to hear your thoughts. Uh, you know, are you a business owner? Do you run your own repair business? Where do you think you can improve? Um, do you have any failure points that you're aware of? Or maybe have a think about it. There might be something you might be able to improve because, I mean, it's all about, you know, making it better for everyone long term, right? Um, you know, if if I'm doing better, then that's better for my customers. If it's better for my customers, then, yeah, the list goes on, you know. Uh, obviously, that means more business for me as well. So, yeah, be self-aware. I think it's important. And, um, yeah, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. See you later.